Hi, I'm Will Land, and during my time here as a business development manager at Aerotech, I've worked with some of the largest medical device manufacturers for stents around the world. Stents are a preventative measure to try to stop patients from having heart attacks in the future. They're often put into patients either after experiencing a heart attack or in the best case scenario, implanted into patients to try to prevent a future heart attack when arterial disease has been identified. Every year, healthcare providers implant over 3 million stents into patients around the world. The stents range in size depending on where they're being implanted in the body from a couple widths of a human hair all the way up to several millimeters. But regardless, they always involve a very intricate lattice structure that has to be cut with the laser. And holding that lattice structure to the right shape really affects how efficacious the stent is in the body and whether it does its job well or has potential to break and damage the patient or not. Stents started through the FDA process in the 90s, and Aerotech was right there with the medical device manufacturers trying to figure out how to make these devices quickly, cost-effectively, but also precisely enough to do their job. Through that partnership, Aerotech developed several purpose-built technologies that were specifically meant to make stents as accurate as they need to be and as fast as possible so that in the end, we could deliver these life-saving technologies to the patient at an economical price. What we did is what Aerotech does best. We took our technology and applied it to a difficult motion problem to make a complex part faster, more accurately, and more cost-effectively. Our work in this industry really hits close to home for us here. There are several employees and family members of employees that have stents implanted in their body to help save their life that were made on Aerotech equipment. We are truly honored to play a small but hopefully significant role in so many lives.